Uh, all right, let's let's move to other teams in the coastal here. I, look, I'll be honest. It was who I cheers to at the start of the show. I'm going to try to put my personal resentment aside here. But the team who thinks that they're next in line is the Pittsburgh Panthers and Pat yeah. Narduzzi. I mean, the man said, quote, unquote, if Michigan State's one of the best Big Ten teams, let's go to the Big Ten and win it every year, unquote. That's a real thing he said just weeks ago. This team has won more than eight games in a season once in seven years with Pat Narduzzi as the head coach in the ACC. Hack, I mean, I, I'm not the only one. He doesn't even own the state of Pennsylvania. He doesn't even own the state of Pennsylvania. So, and that's a, there's a big <laughs> 10 school in the state of Pennsylvania. So I, I just, I find that very hard to believe to say that he's going to now go and just, you know, skip, skip state college and try to get into uh, Michigan and then, you know, rub rub heads into ohio there's no way dude no shot sounds like sounds like a, a quick case of amnesia one <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know like look 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 let's call yeah. it i think pittsburgh was we played the ac championship in 2018 we won it all that year it was a, i remember that game rainy game and pit pit like nc state like both of those coaches are very hard and they play tough those guys believe in what narduzzi is doing just like the guys at nc state believe in what Doran is doing and so I, I kudos to what they've done last year I don't I'm not it, last year wasn't a fluke for them because their whole program for the last couple of years has been built for that year but to say that I don't know if they can follow it up because a lot of talent they had a lot of guys they were putting in especially like Kenny Pickett was an extremely good talent I mean obviously and I feel like he's gonna have a great NFL career you look at Jordan Addison Kenny Pickett's gone Jordan Addison's gone they return a good running back there but I feel like that, that was – they had waited their entire careers to finally make that leap. Same, similar to Sam Hartman at Wake Forest. You, you, you kind of come in as freshman, they paint the picture, and, they, you know, they give you the vision. Here what, here's what we want you to be in three or four years. We're going to run the league. And they did it. They literally did it. But the question is, can, is, there another, is there another Kenny Pickett? Who's going to play quarterback? Can you get another, can you get another Belenikoff person? Their defense is going to be good. Don't get me wrong. The defense is going to be good. But there's a lot of question marks to where, like, I'm just not – I'm not sold. I literally – I think the Jalen Addison thing is, is the example that you need. If if Jalen Addison was at Ohio State and won the Blitnikoff, he's not leaving Ohio State to go to USC. Right. I don't care. I, I don't care how much money they're, they're no, offering. You're right. Like, you're right. my thing is, is you got a guy that leaves the program to go to another destination school – uh, you know, you lose your quarterback. I, I, Pitt just isn't sustainable to me. I don't think it's a, an, an attractable enough location. I, I, I just don't know if they have enough buy-in. I don't know what it is, but they are in that, to your point, Darian, get a great recruiting class, develop them over two or three years, take your lumps, and then hope that you get two to three good years out of them, and then start right. that process all over again. Similar I, to Iowa, similar to Northwestern. There's certain geographical things that play into that. And if Narduzzi would just own that, great. But to say that he could go in and compete in the Big Ten East consistently week in, week out, that is insanity. That's I mean, one of the he, yeah. best divisions in college football. He should be thankful Western Michigan's not in the Big Ten East because, oh, wait, Pitt lost to Western Michigan last season. Hack. I mean, yeah, again, there's it, a little bit of delusion here. Yeah. And, and to that point, I, the point you just made about Jordan Addison is, to me, it goes both ways for culture. I think him leaving to me, like like you said, if you win the Belenikoff. Like, what kid is winning the – that's like when you win – you basically won the, one of the best awards of – like, you would dream about that. Why would you leave the school to put you on? To me, so that, that, that's a bad look for culture. In the same vein – I think a lot of guys, I've seen stuff from Pitt from throughout the summer. They've kind of rallied in the, in the opposite way of like, like, no, we're Pitt. Like, he left, which is good. We're going to band together stronger than ever. And so we'll see. I mean, they, they got a lot of momentum. They got the belief, like you said, it's a program you want to see. They beat Clemson. They won the ACC championship. They got, they got a trophy. They got hardware now to showcase what their program could do. But like you said, I don't – I see them as a developmental program. I don't see – they haven't – recruiting wise they haven't I don't think they've gotten to the point they can just reload each and every year they got the one good year Narduzzi will be hired for the next four or five years because he brought him an AC got a nice extension <laughs> right which 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 yeah. hats off to him but can they reload this year 
and be another AC championship contender? I don't think so. So my thing with the Coastal is that I, I'm desperately looking up and down this division, looking for a team that I can talk myself into. So I'll be honest, I, I don't think I can get there with Miami. Like you said, Hack, give it a year. I want to see what this team does in year one with Crystal Ball. I don't think this is a year they're just going to run through the ACC. Pitt, look, they return 15 starters. If I squint, I can see it because – even though they lose Addison to USC, they bring in a big name from USC in Keaton Slovis, a guy he threw 3,500 yards as a true freshman. You guys at USC, like yeah. he he could be that guy, right? Could he step into pick his shoes hack? But they lose, but they lose the offensive coordinator who goes to Nebraska. So there's a lot of things that go into it, man. Like I don't know, he could, he might be able to, but 